Well, it's been very warm the last couple of days, and we're back into the warm stuff again today. Uh, temperatures have about one more day to stay this warm before we cool off in time for the holiday weekend coming up. So uh, I bet you weren't expecting to maybe fire up the air conditioner again tonight, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a sweaty night out there. 88 right now in uh, Rio Grande City, 80 in Brownsville, and 79 in uh, Harlingen. The dew points are way up. Dew points are in the upper 60s, some places even in the low 70s now. A lot of humidity coming in, and with a light breeze blowing most of this evening and tonight, temperatures will have a hard time cooling off much. We might get down to about 70 in many areas by morning, but most of the night's going to be spent in the 70s. So hopefully your air conditioner is working, you know, at least uh, if it's not on its... Uh, on this, uh, one of his good legs right now. Maybe you can at least open up the windows because there again there will be a light breeze blowing tonight. It won't be one of those dead calm type of humid nights over most of the valley. Now satellite radar shows pretty good sunshine today. Some high clouds occasionally coming from the southwest across Texas, but still dry everywhere. There could be a few showers around the state or a weak thunderstorm or two with the next cold front and even a rain chance here coming up late tomorrow night. But your day planner tomorrow we go from low 70s in the morning to about mid 80s by afternoon with Maybe some patches of clouds in the morning, but probably no fog. I think the only place that could have fog would be right over the Bay Waters and South Padre Island right there on the uh, on the waters where the humid air, warm and humid air is going over some slightly cooler water. And then by tomorrow evening, temperatures around 72 degrees at 10 p.m., but there could be some showers late tomorrow night after about 10 or 11 o'clock trying to form. Future track does show dry weather around the valley, but you notice the front to the north causing a few showers around uh, central northern Texas on uh, Friday, but most of the bigger rain going away. And you see by 6 p.m. Friday, the front's still just north of the valley, but it should come through tomorrow night, probably after midnight. And as it comes through, we could start to see some light rain showers around. Slim chances that maybe a very weak thunderstorm, you know, a couple of lightning flashes here and there. But a little cooler weather comes back in time for the weekend. Less humidity, cooler temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday. I think we're looking at highs mostly in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees or so. Uh, the next cold front, which we were kind of excited about to bring Colder weather, for those of you who want colder weather for Christmas days, uh, it's not looking so cold anymore. It's kind of just there and uh, comes into the valley Sunday afternoon, but probably won't bring much cold air with it. Maybe keeping the humidity down and temperatures down a bit going through Sunday night and Monday. But more than likely, Christmas Day is looking warmer and warmer. No more cold stuff, but probably highs around 65 to 70 as well. Now, with the first front coming through tomorrow night, into Saturday. You notice rain fall amounts, just what the model says. These might be a bit on the high side, but you see it does forecast a lot of places in the valley, maybe getting around a quarter to half an inch or a little more in spots. So you might get a, a good little light amount of rain, mainly in the nighttime hours going through Saturday morning. So keep an eye on that again for late tomorrow night and Saturday. So the first 1570 forecast, warm and humid tomorrow, and then cooler for the weekend and for Christmas Day. Highs mainly in the upper 60s and near 70 degrees. And Christmas Day, like I said, is looking warmer and warmer. We went, we went from a forecast of near 50 degrees to now 68. And, you know, if it clouds over a bit more, maybe it could be cooler, but it does look fairly sunny on Christmas Day. And then a gradual warm up next week with slim chances for a light rain shower or two. So we'll keep tracking the cooler weather for the holiday weekend and your first 1-5 forecast here coming up. Carrie.